Good morning, Winnicott. And good morning, America. I hope you all celebrated your Monday in honor of MLK. I'm sure most of your time during the long weekend revolved around football and GTA 5. And for some kids, it's just video games all day, every day. Camp Slack took a look at what students in the school are really involved in video games. Some even make a living off of it. Hey Winnicunit, Cam Slack here with Robbie, and we have a story about video games. But it's not just a regular story about video games. It's actually people who get paid to play video games. What is that? Well, me and Robbie took a look into that, and it's actually called Electronic Sports. So let's find out more about it. Video games like Madden, FIFA, NBA, Call of Duty, and League of Legends are video games you can play and potentially get paid to play them. To get paid, you must first enter tournaments, and from there, if you end up winning, you can win $25,000 or even more, depending on who hosts the tournaments. Big name tournaments are Virgin Gaming, Finals on the PS3. They are playing for $25,000. Look at these guys' faces. LCS, MLG Halo, MLG Call of Duty, and MLG Battlefield, and etc. We got interviews with certain students who have potential of being pro gamers. I've played uh, World of Warcraft for six years, League of Legends for a year and a half. I've played COD since COD 4. Halo games have always been good. A lot of stuff on the computer. You spend a lot of time. Uh, I know a lot of pro players of like League of Legends, for example, spend like their whole day is planned out for them, and they spend like eight hours playing and three hours watching themselves like play. Uh, to try and pick up any mistakes and there's time for like eating and working out and that's it so it's it's demanding but I mean it's rewarding because you're doing what you love and making money off it. Video gaming to me is like a sport because it requires a lot of mental like endurance because it's like not only do you need like the mechanical skills like oh you can turn this much with your mouse and click or whatever or use you know an Xbox controller but it's taxing, you know, if you're playing like a computer game and you have a, a, a couple of games in one day, you know, you got to play, then wait a couple hours and play again. And like, I don't know, you spend as much time as like any other sport, I guess. And, you know, it's the same experience too, because you're playing for, you know, fans. You got fans watching at home, fans who are at the studio watching you play, and you got a crowd and everything. So that's, it's just like any other sport except on a computer. Well, it's really hard to say, but mostly just the fan base and how people like, treat it and uh, well in Korea there's actually like channels that actually show people playing video games and it's a really big sensation over there and America finally kind of adopted it with um, uh, LCS for League which is League Championship Series which is actually starting today. I tried to go to professional in Call of Duty. I actually did win one mini tournament down at Blockbuster in Seabrook but currently now I just stick to PC consoles and I think I'm going to try and go pro with League of Legends. First off, you gotta look this good. Mostly it's just skill, practice, dedication. Well, when it comes it, that's all me and Robbie have for you today. Hopefully you get a new view on video games and know that it'll be a big impact on the future of sports. Check you later. You know, I'm not much of a gamer, but my basement's pretty set for Xbox. My basement is smooth concrete. Perfect for Razor scooters. Wow, we should go Razor scooting around the basement of the school. It's probably huge. There's a basement in the school. Yeah, we're sending you down to look in it. Let's go check it out. We can never think of any good story ideas. We can never think of good story ideas. I know. I give up, Tyler. I give up. Do you feel that, Tyler? Yeah, I feel that. Do you feel that? Do you no, feel I, that? I feel it. I feel it. Tyler? Tyler, where are you? What is underneath this? The basement. This is it. This is it, Tyler. Robert, are you ready? It's locked. So maybe we should ask the students of Winnicott kind of what they think's in the school basement. There's probably stuff that people have never seen before. In the school basement is an old bomb shelter from the Cold War. I am 100% sure the basement is where they lock the teachers during vacations in summer. School supplies? Every single hat that Taboo has ever taken. There goes thou eat Larry Francor. I think Larry Francor lives in the school basement. Um, I think what's in Winnicott's basement is Mike Mawson's jump shot because we haven't been able to find that for years. Little kid, little kids working in a sweatshop down there making t-shirts. <laughs> pencil shavings from all the um, pencil sharpeners that just go into the basement. 
dead bodies. An Exeter Blue Hawk mascot is in the basement. I didn't know there was a basement. It's where Mr. Beatty keeps JFK's body. Beatty's conspiracies. The students were no help, so we asked Mr. Inglesby what was down there. Mr. Inglesby, is there any way that you could let us into the basement? Nobody's been down there in quite some time. However, um, if I showed you, you might not come out. I keep the key locked up in my safe. Christy and I snuck into his room to steal the key. Sorry, Mr. McGowan. We had the key, we opened the door, and we headed down to the basement. But turns out there were just pipes and cobwebs down there. We went back down in the basement with Mr. Inglesby permission and found out there was a locked bathroom. He had no clue what was inside. The mystery behind the toilet in the basement. Um, I don't really know what to say. Many years ago, we had a colleague go down there and use that restroom, and we don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. So you know what's in the school basement. But the mystery still remains about the basement's bathroom. Uh, we, we gotta go. Instead of all the pipes and cobwebs down there, we should put a movie theater in, so all of you guys can watch WHTV comfortably. And it's way closer than Newington. Newington! Have you ever seen any good movies lately? <laughs> yeah, I saw Bad Grandpa. That movie was so funny. Yeah, the boy in the movie is an unbelievable child actor. A really cool kid. And I know that because I was just with Jackson Nickel. Where are we going? Just keep going straight. You're getting tired? Yeah! This is Jackson Nickel. You've probably heard of him. And get this, he is from Seabrook. My wife took my daughter to a, uh, a modeling job and someone at the modeling job told her to take Jackson to the audition for the movie The Fighter. And there was like 12,000 kids and they got the part. And everything took off from there. One, I got to do stuff that a lot of other kids do not, are not allowed to do. Anything that was really bad, he was kept away. <clears throat> so he wasn't exposed to any of the, the really bad stuff. The teachers don't act different at school, but the kids do. I like to play basketball. Because that is my favorite sport. Um. Between balancing friends and school, he is still acting. My ridiculousness thing comes on like a month. Um, Staten Island summer is coming in, the, in like uh, summer. Are we going to get in trouble for this? Jackson Nickel is a local actor, and he's an all-around cool kid. <laughs> have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no doubt. We're very proud of everything he's accomplished. <laughs> he seems hilarious. He is. Ross and I played basketball with him, and on the way, Jackson was playing with one of our cameras, and on accident, the camera was recording. Stick around for the credits to see this lost, funny footage. Well, alright. I hope you had a great short week, and cheer up about the Patriots losing. Tom Brady for Peyton Manning, any day. Roll the credits. Hey. Where's the belt over here? I have no clue. You want to sit here? Yeah, you better not. You want to sit up here? Yeah! yeah. Wait, we and Jack need the selfie first. <laughs> oh, wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> you enjoy watching your face? Yeah. You got the Xbox One? No, I don't want it. Why? I already have an Xbox 360. Are you smart, Jackson? No. I smell something. Jackson, you have a phone? Guess not. You should, you should watch my ping pong trick shots video. Ping pong? Oh yeah. This is Chuck's ping pong ball. Chuck's ping pong ball and it goes in the little cup. Oh! How do you do that? 
You like that? How many times do you miss it? <laughs> we make a first try. We should walk into Walmart with him and have him do pranks. No, we need to tell people first. What if we do it illegally? If we do it illegally, then we need to call the cops. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't see anybody doing stupid stuff like we do. Call, that's us. <laughs> help? Hey, we need you. <laughs> that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs>